Hello fellow RVers, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to cover the most expensive part of your RV, the roof. Regular roof inspection is easy to do and helps extend the life of your RV roof. Knowing how to inspect the roof lap sealant will help prevent leaks. So what kind of roof do you have? Let's dive right into roof types. RVs will have either walkable or non-walkable roofs, which will determine whether the roof is rated to hold a person's body weight. And for the exterior roof material, RVs can use EPDM, TPO, PVC, fiberglass, aluminum alloy, other galvanized sheet metal, and many others. RV roofs are constructed from trusses and decking, which form the structural portion of the roof, insulation for retaining heat or cold inside the camper, a roof membrane, which provides protection against the elements, and lap sealant applied on top of the membrane, which keeps the seams, joints, and transition points from leaking. Usually the roof membrane is made up of a single layer that is stretched tight over the decking, attached with a heavy adhesive between the membrane's underside and the decking, and secured with mechanical fasteners, which are used along the edge. There are two major roof membrane system brands, which are Alpha and Dicor. It's important to know which system your RV uses to make sure you're applying proper sealants for maximum adhesion. With roof membranes, you generally can't tell the difference between the two brands by just looking at it. The best and easiest way to tell the difference is by simply asking the RV dealership or RV manufacturer who will let you know which brand was used based on the year and model of your RV. If you're a good SAM member, you can call the Elite Service Tech Advisor line and we will track down this info for you. Knowing which type of roof membrane you're working with is important because uh, lap sealants are only chemically compatible with its designated brand. So here's how to inspect your RV roof lap sealant. Before beginning any inspection, consult with your local Camping World or Gander RV specialist or original RV dealer to identify the roof membrane brand and make sure the RV is equipped with a walkable roof. Use caution when using ladders or walking on your RV roof, whether it's walkable or non-walkable. Falling from any height can cause serious injury and death, so be careful. If your RV roof is walkable, be sure to walk it so you can closely check for damage. On a no-walk roof, safely inspect it from a ladder. And your safest option is to make an appointment with your nearest Camping World Service Center. Camping World locations nationwide offer free RV roof inspections. Next, assess the general cleanliness of both the lap sealant and the roof membrane. Keeping your RV roof clean is critical. If the RV roof membrane is covered with dirt, moss, leaves, mold, and the like, a quality inspection can't really be made. Start by removing any material that could snag or damage the membrane. Next, you'll want to simply remove any loose dirt with a soft bristled broom. Lastly, wash the roof membrane with a mild detergent and rinse well. On your synthetic rubber roof, never use products containing petroleum distillates such as solvents, mineral spirits, or kerosene. You also don't want to use any products containing citric ingredients or harsh abrasives. One product you can use to wash your RV roof is Dicor Rubber Roof Cleaner. Dicor Rubber Roof Cleaner is professional strength, gentle on the roof, and safe for regular use, plus it's biodegradable. After cleaning, allow the membrane to dry before further inspection. Physical inspection begins with the general condition of the roof membrane. Note that lap sealant never really turns solid. It will maintain a degree of flexibility that will vary by brand. You'll want to rub your hand over the membrane surface to see if it feels chalky. If the membrane is chalky, new lap sealant may not adhere. The next step in a proper roof inspection is to inspect the lap sealant for cracks, voids, and adhesion. When inspecting for cracks, know that surface cracks in the sealant crust are not uncommon and are not an issue. However, cracks that are a concern are ones that penetrate deep into the lap sealant. Luckily, if you find deep penetrating cracks in the lap sealant, these can be repaired with a little touch-up work. That covers cracks, but what about voids? Well, when inspecting for voids, you're essentially looking for missing lap sealant. This would include voids along transition moldings, around roof vents, and other roof attachments. Voids in the lap sealant could allow water into the roof cavity, which can be the start of a very costly repair. Once again though, if you find voids in the lap sealant, these can also be repaired with touch-up work. When inspecting for adhesion, you're making sure the lap sealant is still sticking to the membrane. Pick at the edge of the lap sealant where it meets the membrane. The lap sealant should stay glued to the membrane. If you find that the lap sealant is loose from the membrane in multiple spots, then there are two possible corrective actions. One, a complete lap sealant replacement, or two, a rework where new lap sealant is applied over the old in the loose spots. 
You see, the new lap sealant will adhere to both the roof membrane and the old lap sealant. Functionally, this is just a more aggressive touch-up. For planning purposes, you should know that seasonal RVers who store their RV when not in use, uh, manufacturers actually recommend roof inspection twice a year, once at the beginning and once at the end of RVing season. For full-timers, however, routine roof cleaning is recommended three to four times a year, and smart RVers will combine roof cleaning with inspecting their RV roof for maintenance. If your RV roof unintentionally snags on tree branches or other low-hanging obstacles, immediately inspect your roof after parking. You don't want to wait until the first rainstorm to discover the roof membrane is damaged. Well, folks, that covers the roof inspection. It's simple to do and manufacturer recommended for extending the life of your RV. And after your inspection, if you've identified that your RV roof lap sealant needs touch-up maintenance, then check out our related video on how to maintain and touch up your RV roof lap sealant. Thanks for joining me, folks. I'm Ian Baker. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and come back for more helpful tips and how-to information.